Not so long ago on my channel you saw a video with a 60 watt basis charger. But at the time of recording that video, unfortunately, I didn't have a USB-C light cable. Now I have it, I borrowed it for a while and also I have a second iPhone model 11 Pro Max and today we will charge two iPhones with different chargers. To find out if it makes sense to buy flashy new chargers of this kind. Why flashy? Um, because they advertise to buy their superchargers and this will help to charge phones faster because of 65 watts. And yes, in fact, uh, the first basis USB-C port is capable of delivering up to 65 watts. But will iPhones charge faster? Let's check. We will take two chargers. First one, 18 watts, which comes in the box uh, with iPhone 11 Pro Max, and the second one. 65 watts basis GAN charger. This video will be short, I do not want to make it long, it does not make any sense. Here is a table with my results. Well, let me comment a little. The difference between the two chargers is small and as you can see 18 watt charger was even faster. Uh, this means that if you have an 18 watt charger at home, uh, then you don't need to buy a fancy 65 watt charger because you will get a very similar charging speed as with 18 watts. But if you need more ports, uh, for charging then of course you can take a closer look at 65 watt charger because this charger will produce a stable uh, speed even if you will fully load it even with three ports i checked in my previous video about GAN basis charger well i hope that my short video clip answered your questions i wish you good health my name is eugen if you did not subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet and have a nice day Всем добра.